Hello students. Today we will complete part 3 of solid state class 12 chemistry. Let's start. So far we have discussed about different type of solid. We have also learned about the types of crystalline solid. Right. So in this chapter here we will see how the crystal solids or what make the solid to be crystalline. Now, whenever we talk about the crystalline solid, we know that there is something regular arrangement of the constituent particle. There is something repeated pattern throughout the solid we get, right? So, whenever we are going in detail about the crystalline solid, similar kind of repeating unit we will see. So, in this picture, you can see one crystal solid we have taken where constituent particles are arranged very neatly in some regular way. In a regular arrangement, three dimensional arrangement, this constituent particles are arranged. So, it is giving a crystal solid structure. Now, what is crystal lattice? Each point, okay, each point that is being repeated to form three dimensional structure is called the crystal lattice. So, in the crystal solid what you'll get basically the crystal solid is nothing but the arrangement of the crystal lattices okay so what is crystal lattice crystal lattice is a regular order arrangement of the constituent particles in three dimension right so this part is clear to you next in this picture you see constituent particle that is the green spheres are having a fixed position they are holding in a fixed they are holding a fixed position each position okay that is being held by the constituent particle is called lattice point so in a crystal lattice each point that is being occupied by the constituent particle is called lattice point to define the lattice point you need x y and z axis in space okay you can define the position where the points are there to define it you need the three axis so lattice point or lattice site are the fixed position on which the constituent particles are present okay a group of lattice point which when repeated over and over again the three dimensional space give the complete crystal lattice so this arrangement this spheres is being repeated to form the whole crystal lattice now this crystal lattice is very complex to understand to understand the whole thing is not very easy okay it's much complex structure it is being repeated something is being repeated so what you have done we have divided the whole crystal lattice under smaller part okay in the, some smaller three-dimensional part we have divided and this part that smaller part is being repeated throughout the crystal okay and this small part is called the unit cell so next concept is about our unit cell so what is a unit cell unit cell is a complete block that is being repeated throughout the crystal so here is your unit cell it is defined as the smallest repeating unit in space lattice which when repeated over and over again generate the complete crystal lattice the crystal can consist of an infinite number of unit cell so if you consider a building then the building is made up of small brick the small brick is being repeated to make the whole building right so that brick is the unit cell the brick you can make it equal to your unit cell that is being repeated to make the whole building block so hope it is clear so we have learned about this basic structure the crystal solids are nothing but the crystal lattice each lattice point is the space where constituent particles occupy their position and smallest portion of the crystal lattice is called unit cell okay now we'll see the characteristics of unit cell so this is basically one block that have taken from the whole crystal lattice and it is the unit cell okay now in this unit cell you see what are the parameter present here you can see the age okay whenever you are considering a box you are getting three ages a b c and what else you are getting you are getting the angle between them what are the angle you are getting alpha beta and gamma so what are the characteristic of unit cell 
unit cell is being characterized by its dimension along the three edges along x y and z axis you are getting a b c these edges the value of these edges will determine the characteristic of the unit cell sometime it might be equal to each other two might be equal the other might be unequal okay or all three will be unequal so depending on that you are getting different kind of unit cells so based on the age values you'll be getting different different unit cell next these edges may or may not be mutually perpendicular so if it is a perfect cube then only the edges will be 90 degree to each other but it is not necessarily that it will be always 90 degree the angle might be anything so depending on this angular value you are getting different type of unit cell again so angle between the edges are considered as alpha beta and gamma one thing you note alpha is the angle between b and c okay a b c the greek alphabet is what the corresponding greek alphabet of uh, the corresponding greek alphabet of abc are alpha beta and gamma so you just remember like that if you are considering the h b and c then alpha will come in between okay similarly you consider the h of a and c then the corresponding angle will be beta between them okay so there are six parameter that will characterize the unit cell and what are this three edges a b c and three angles alpha beta and gamma okay next here we'll discuss about the characteristic of unit cell okay we uh, sorry the characteristic of the lat crystal lattice so we have understood what is that crystal lattice is crystal lattice is nothing but the regular arrangement of the constituent particle that is being repeated throughout the crystal okay now see the points crystal solid have a regular and periodic repetition pattern uh, of constituent particles okay next the di diagrammatical representation of three dimensional arrangement of constituent particle of a crystal in space with each particle depicted as a point is called crystal lattice okay so what is the crystal lattice this is nothing but the point for the constituent particle there are only 14 possible three dimensional lattice and are known as Bravis lattice. You have to remember how for one mark sometimes the, they ask the question how many bra Bravis lattices are there? There are 14 Bravis lattice. And one more thing you remember here. See, in the unit cell, the parameters are what? Alpha, beta, gamma, and ABC. If you are changing this value, you will be getting seven type of cell system. Okay. So there are seven unit cell system. But if you are considering that seven unit cell system and make an arrangement, then you are getting 14 Bravis lattice. Bravis lattice is the complete scenario and the small part is what? The small part is your unit cell. So seven unit cell system and 14 Bravis lattice you are getting. Next, each point in a lattice is called lattice point or lattice cell. Each point in a crystal lattice signifies the constituent particle. Constituent particle of crystals are what? or any solids are nothing but their atom molecules or ions last lattice point are joined together using straight lines to identify the geometry of the lattice now here in this figure you see the spheres are lattice point you can see some lines but some geometrical lines are being drawn but these geometrical lines are imaginary okay you have to remember that there are no such lines you are getting experimentally these are the imaginary lines we have considered to give a perfect geometry to understand it in a easy way to understand the geometry of this arrangement we have drawn some imaginary line we consider the imaginary line but actually they do not exist okay and one more point to be noted here is the crystal lattice is the characteristic of crystalline solid okay you will never get the crystal lattice for amorphous okay crystal lattice is something for regular arrangement okay it it is resembling the regular arrangement so you are getting this crystal lattice only for the crystalline solid but never for the amorphous okay now we'll see the type of unit cell and the number of atom present in it we'll consider few unit cell and we'll try to find that how many constituent particle totally present there okay let's see first type of unit cell is the p 
primitive unit cell primitive means what primitive means the simple unit cell so this is the simplest unit cell possible now whenever you are considering a unit cell it is something like a cube okay or like a cuboid now in a cube okay how many points are there there are eight points eight corners are there and we'll consider that in each corner one one atom present okay the unit cell is made up of eight atoms at its corner so what is the unit cell well, primitive unit cell if the constituent particle of a crystal lattice are present only on the corner position of a unit cell this is called primitive unit cell okay so how many atoms you can see here you can see eight atoms but these eight atoms let's consider this corner atom okay this corner atom now if you're considering this unit cell to be a part of the complete crystal then see the scenario this corner atom is being shared with eight other okay what are these eight other you see carefully one here second here third here fourth here and fifth here sixth here seventh here and eighth one is here so this one is having its contribution on eight other neighbors okay so if you're considering this block if you're considering this block then this atom will con contribute how much to this cell it can contribute only one one eight of it because it have eight other member okay it have it is being distributed by or it is being surrounded by eight other so to one it can give only one eight of its share okay so here you see each cubic unit cell has eight atom on its corner okay in primitive cell we have seen eight corner atoms and each con corner atom how much it can give to the crystal it can give to a particular unit cell one eight of it so total how much it will be it will be eight into one by eight equal to one so in primitive unit cell total number of atom is how much it is one okay next type of uh, unit cell is your body centered unit cell now in body centered unit cell what you get you get eight corner atom and one atom that is trapped inside okay consider a box in the box on its eight corner you are getting eight atom and one atom is trapped inside okay so if the constituent particles of a unit cell are present at its body center beside the one that are at its corner okay that type of unit cell is your body centered unit cell now what will be the total number of atom here so eight corner atom will contribute one by eight so it's known to us if it is primitive cell the value is coming as one so it here also you are getting eight corner atoms so one eight it will contribute and total you will be getting one atom now one more atom you are getting at the center okay and that is not being divided by anything it is solely present within the cell so it will contribute total okay it will complete contribute one whole so one body center atom will contribute one into one that is one atom so here you are getting one atom for the corner and one atom for the center so total is how much total atom present is your two okay so in body centered cubic unit cell how many atoms are there there are two atom next here you are getting the third type of unit cell that is a face centered cubic unit cell so in a face centered cubic unit cell it is also termed as fcc atoms are present at the corner okay like in primitive cell you are getting the atoms at the corner in addition to that you are getting some more atom okay so in a cube how many faces are there there are six faces so on at the center of the six faces you are getting six more atom so at the corner you are getting eight atom and at the faces you are getting six more atom okay so each atom next they have said that each atom present at the face centered is shared between two adjacent unit cell and only a half of each atom belongs to a unit cell so the atom that is present on the face how much they contribute they are contributing half okay so you know that eight corner atoms are there in the face centered cubic cell plus six atoms at the face now eight corner atom how much they contribute they contribute one by eight so total value is coming out as one 
and 6 was centered how much they will contribute they will contribute half so 6 into half is coming as 3 so total number of atom will be 3 plus 1 4 okay so total number of atom that is present in face centered unit cell cubic unit cell is equal to 4 total number of atom present in body centered cubic cell is 2 and total number of atom present in primitive or simple cubic unit cell is 1 okay so that much for today thank you